Hey there fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial. I'm Alex Carlson and in this video we will recap today's stock market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But before we dive in to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube and sign up with your email. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Text is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you get a welcome email, which includes a free copy of our ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free service from Insider Financial. We don't run any Telegram groups, Discords, or paid subscription services whatsoever. First, I want to recap the small caps from our last video. Uh, first up is LIFW. This has been an absolute beast for us. I brought it to your attention on April 2nd when Palantir took a 6.5% stake in the company. That day, LIFW opened at $0.85, cents, and today it hit $2.64 for potential gains of 210% in one week. Congrats to all who watched and banked. CGC, this one has been on a tear over the past month on hopes for uh, cannabis reclassification from the DEA and hopes for legalization on the federal level. Uh, Schumer has proposed another version of the Safer Banking Act. So there's just been, cannabis names have just been extremely oversold. Uh, so we're getting a bounce here. It's, the stock is consolidating uh, right here. I think we break uh, below nine, we go lower, close above 11. We're going to keep running. So uh, if you are in this name and you have uh, gains, uh, the stock is up over 241% in the past month. Uh, use a trailing stop. Again, none of this is financial advice. Just trying to help you guys as much as possible. Is at this level here, trading right at 10, we are going to break out or break down. Uh, DJT, uh, Trump Media, I said last week that $50 was the make or break level. Uh, below, uh, we would target $40, and today we took out the $40 level. Um, stock is starting out uh, this week as much like it uh, finished last week. Uh, it was down over 8% today. Uh, this added to a 12% drop to close the week Friday as the company uh, basically behind Truth Social continues its downward spiral. Uh, these sizable drops followed a 21% nosedive on April 1st. Uh, shares are now down roughly 50% since the social network merged with uh, SPAC DWAC to become publicly traded company. Uh, Following its initial public offering in late March, TMTG, which is Trump Media and Technology Group, uh, soared to nearly $75 each. Uh, the series of declines started after a form filed with the SEC showed the company had a net loss of $58 million in 2023 on just $4.1 million in revenue. In 2022, it recorded a net profit uh, uh well, that's an air. I don't know where they're getting this from, but it uh, it lost money in 2022 as well. Uh, former President Donald Trump holds approximately 58% of the outstanding shares of TMTG. Uh, last week, two men pleaded guilty to insider trading charges. Also last week, the Congressional Integrity Project sent a letter to the chairman of the U.S. House Committee on Oversight and Reform asking it to investigate possible influence peddling and corruption regarding DJT. Look, the chart is absolutely ugly. Uh, support here the, that I am seeing here is at $32. Um, we could bounce off that level and go higher. It's 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 a meme stock. It's trading uh, basically on uh, Trump's expectations in the you know his polling data. So again, let's see how it uh, plays out. Again, no position here at at, uh, at this time. Uh, we're looking for uh, trading setups going forward. Uh, P A Y S. Uh, this one looks to have topped out. Uh, same with G S I T. Uh, consolidating here. Covered V N D A. Uh, we 
got a nice spike here last week and then pull back. Uh, and ABAT is just consolidating here. was up 6% today. Uh, let's see how uh, it really needs to close above $2 uh, to get the momentum traders back in. In, two name, in terms of new names that I am watching, first up is AMRK. Uh, this one, this stock, uh, this company owns JM Bullion. I'm sure you've seen their ads on TV uh, talking about buying gold today. Uh, you know, and with the price of gold climbing, uh, this is one of the best ways to play it. Uh, last month, uh, AMRK acquired the gold.com domain name. Uh, the stock has a 2% yield and trades at just seven and a half times next year's earnings. This is a cheap way to play the gold rush. Uh, AM, AMRK, uh, put this one on your radar screen uh, if you are, and again, you know, the stock is off the lows in February, but we're still have not made new 52 week highs. So I th think there's a lot more room uh, for AMRK to run, uh, especially, uh, you know, if gold keeps climbing. Uh, we got on uh, Friday, we had the stronger than expected jobs report. Uh, uh, that has some investors, uh, you know, focused on, you know, is the Fed going to cut, you know, uh, this summer or not? Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Damon, Jamie Dimon he has warned that uh, you know rates could keep climbing. Uh, analysts at UBS they raised their year-end gold price target by $250 to $2,500 an ounce, saying they expect gold ETF holdings will increase once the Fed starts cutting rates around mid-year. So again, that's what everyone is is banking on. You know, we get CPI data on Wednesday. Uh, you know, it, it's beyond my pay grade to, to forecast uh, interest rate cuts. Uh, I go by the data. Right now, inflation has been uh, it, it creep. You know, we had January, February, March. We had three hot inflation reports, but the market is overlooking that, and, and they're still uh, expecting uh, rate cuts. Uh, but I think also what's uh, driving the gold price right now, you know, the central banks, they keep adding to their reserves. Uh, China's official foreign exchange reserve assets in March came in at the highest since November 2015, climbing to $3.246 trillion. Uh, Central banks from other emerging market nations, particularly India, have also been adding to the reserves this year, with the World Gold Council reporting that bank stocks of gold have grown for nine consecutive months. Data suggests sy systematic uh, commodity trading advisors or momentum-based algorithmic funds have also been ramping up purchases. Uh, with overall futures trading jumping. Uh, the Commitment of Traders Weekly report said gold long positions reached 178,000 contracts for the week ending April 2nd, their highest number since July 2020. Uh, July 2020. Uh, DXYZ. Be careful here, guys. This is one of the most talked about names on stock twits. It's just a combination of euphoria and low float. Uh, this is the Destiny Tech 100. It began trading on the New York Stock Exchange on March 26th. Uh, it offers investors a unique opportunity to participate in the growth of leading private companies. Trading in the stock was at a range of prices from $8.25 to $30.48 after debuting at an opening price of $8.25, uh, which was up 70.5%. The reference price of $4.84. Uh, shares closed that day at $9 on a volume of 540,000 shares. Um, John Tuttle, Vice Chairman of the NYSE Group, said that we are excited to welcome Destiny Tech 100 to the NYSE, which seeks to offer investors access to private market opportunities with the liquidity and protections available in our public markets. Uh, the Tech 100 is designed to be a portfolio of 100 of the top private technology companies with current holdings including SpaceX, OpenAI, Discord, and Stripe. So again, uh, unreal here, absolutely $8.00. 10x uh, in uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in under 10 days. So uh, euphoria is back, uh, and it's just about trying to find these opportunities uh, to put in your radar uh, in front of your screens. Uh, FNGR, uh, this one's starting to curl. Uh, looks like it's getting ready to make a move. Uh, this is a favorite of the naked short guys uh, on Twitter and FinTwit. Um, 
no position here, but it is curling, and uh, this one has a history of spiking. So let's see uh, if they can uh, bring some volume in and uh, pump it higher. So again, play the pump. Uh, don't stick around for the dump. Uh, next up is AUUD. This is a new AI play. Uh, the stock was up today after the media company said it had received a U.S. patent for the core uh, AI technology it uses in its flagship fader app to deliver ad-free AM FM radio stations to paid subscribers. In addition to the issuance of the patent, the company has taken the next step in advancing the provisional patent application it filed last year related to leveraging AI to improve large language model prompts and the domain-specific knowledge of proprietary GPTs, uh, it said in a statement. So again, we love AI stocks. It is a transformational change. Uh, we're trying to bring uh, new plays to your radar screen, uh, and AUUD is going to give us some trading opportunities, uh, so put this one on your radar screen. Uh, lastly, guys, is Tilray, T-L-R-Y, is scheduled to announce Q3 earnings uh, before market open. Uh, the consensus EPS estimates for a loss of $0.05, cents, and the consensus Census revenue uh, estimates for 198.33 million, which is an increase of 36.2 percent year over year. Over the last two years, Tilray has beaten EPS estimates 50 percent of the time and has beaten revenue estimates 13 percent of the time. Uh, over the last three months, EPS ep estimates have seen one upper upward revision and one downward. Revenue estimates have seen one upward revision and nine downwards. So again, this will be a big report, and I think will affect the uh, overall. Uh, cannabis sector so be watching this one uh, tomorrow and then cpi wednesday as i said headline cpi is forecast to rise 0.3 percent month over month and be up 3.5 percent year over year course cpi is expected to be 0.3 percent higher month over month and up 3.7 percent year over year and then tomorrow of course as i do each and every trading day i will be uh, scanning pre-market if i see anything else i will let subscribers know that's why you know signing up is so important and it's completely free guys at insider financial we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves as i repeatedly stated there are always opportunities in the markets daily the important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money the key is trading green not red we're looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts it's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave that's what we're doing here at insider financial and to get our small cap reports we cover low floats short squeezes recent ipos biotech fd plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com and sign up with your email and mobile number. There is no spam and your info is never shared. You can unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Remember, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. It is our opinion meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.